Hey guys, it's Aurelius. In this video, you are going to learn how to make step-by-step -step guides and eBooks in just a matter of minutes. So here's a hypothetical step-by-step -step guide I created with a whopping 59 steps. And the best part about using this very tool I'm about to show you in this video is that it will automatically take the screenshots for you. It will also describe what that step is. All you really need to do is run through the process as you normally would, and it will take the screenshots, describe each step, and you can add things like tip bars, alert bars in between the steps. And on its pro plan, not only will you be able to record the steps and the processes with whatever's on your browser, you'll also be able to record your desktop and any apps that you wanna show in the process, as you can see with my one, where I'm opening up Notion and showing them what to click and what to do. And once you're done with your guide, you can get a shareable link or you can export it as a PDF document and then sell or share it as a digital download. But let's now go and dive deep and I'll show you what this tool is and how to use it. All right, so the very tool you will need to create these step-by-step -step guides is called Scribe. Scribe's a great companion if you're an educator, a teacher, a course creator, or if you simply wanna use it for internal teams so you can explain your processes, and how to's in a clear and concise way. So rather than explaining over and over again to team members or students how to complete a particular task, record it using Scribe to create those guides, share that with them so they can refer back to it at any time, which is going to eliminate any miscommunication, any confusion, so they are a lot more clear in terms of how to complete it. That way you have less explaining to do. So there are two versions. You can either install the browser extension or the desktop version or both. However, the desktop version is only available for pro users only, which is a paid option. Speaking of pricing, for the most part, it is free and you can create unlimited guides. There are some basic customizations that you can do. However, if you do wanna record processes outside of your browser, that is things like Microsoft Word, Excel, or whatever app that you wanna to use to create these guides, you are going to want to upgrade to the Pro account. Start off by installing the browser extension if that's the route you wanna take. It's detected that I'm using a Chrome browser, so I'm going to add it to Chrome. In Chrome, if you want it to appear on your toolbar as shown right here, you have to make sure you go to the extensions icon and then pin the scribe extension. As you can see, once it's enabled, that's when you can go and start recording. Now, bear in mind, if you start recording using the browser extension, it will only record whatever is on your browser. But on the desktop version, it is slightly different. You click on new and we can now start recording. But what I'm going to do in this demo is record my browser. So therefore I'm going to click on scribe on the toolbar and then click on start recording, making sure you are logged in first. In this demo, let's go and create a guide on how to create an Instagram story in Canva. So we'll first go to canva.com and then we can click on Instagram story as one of the first steps. So Scribe will record that as one of the steps. Let's go ahead and search for something like office. I'll just choose this first one right here, click that. Let's add a step in and edit some of this text. So I'll go ahead and put in something like seven best tips like so. And I'll put in here, new post. I'll change the color of this right here to something like blue. Doesn't quite match, but let's go ahead with that. I'll modify the image right here. Let's go to photos. I'll search for office and let's drag this one right here to replace it and go and click on share. I'll then click on copy link and that is it. That is the process that I want to show and create a guide out of. So what I'm going to do now is click the little stop button right here. From here, I can either go and complete the recording or I can choose one of these other options such as pause the recording, delete the scribe, uh, move the control somewhere else, but let's go ahead and complete recording. A new tab will open with that new recording. And just like that, we've created 32 steps. It says navigate to www.canva.com. Click here where it shows the mouse cursor. These don't make sense because I simply clicked anywhere. So therefore we can go and modify and customize some of these steps if we do not need them. By the looks of it, we do not need the second, third and fourth step. So what I'm going to do is head over to the right, click on select multiple and let's go and check that box. Check this as well. And now we'll go and delete the selected. 
that's much better and makes more sense. What we can also do is modify the actual title or description of the step. So if there's something that you wanna clarify a bit more or expand on, elaborate on, you can do so by simply clicking on any of the steps right here. So instead of navigate to, you can say type www.canva.com on your browser address bar and there we go we can also attach another image if we want to take a screenshot manually if you miss any steps you can always fill that in by clicking the plus button and then click on step and there we go but going back to the top you change the title of your guide by saying something like canva how to create an Instagram story. You can also modify the actual thumbnail right here. Let's say this little laptop icon and changing the color to blue. You can customize further by clicking the plus icon under any of the steps in the process. So let's say from here, we want to put an alert bar and alerting any readers of this particular step. So in here, we could search for search anything you want. You can also section off your guide by clicking the plus icon again, clicking on header. And let's say this part is modifying the image and we'll click on the tick mark. Let's go back to the top and put another header, put in here, introduction. Now, when we click on done, you can see the different sections or the different headers that we've already entered. This will make it easy for your readers to navigate throughout your guide, as you can see. Earlier on, I did mention you can add steps if you miss them. If you do want to record them instead, you can click on plus, click on record, and that way you can start recording and then that will fill in any of the missing steps. If you feel like your guide consists of too many steps and let's say 30 steps is way too many, you want to condense it down, you can click on merge steps and then select the steps that you want to merge together. Let's say type you know, www.canva.com and clicking open. Could be merged into one, you can do so. Let's click on both. And from here, we'll click on merge selected. And now instead of it being two steps, you've got it under one step. There's also an option to find similar steps with similar screenshots and that way you can condense it down further. However, be careful with this as it may mess up some of the steps. And if we click on let's go, it's reduced it to 10 steps. However, if we look down below, it's combined some of these, which may look a little confusing. So if you don't want that, then you can always undo it by clicking undo similar steps. And now we're back to the 29 steps. On a Scribe Pro plan, what you can do is further customize the actual screenshot. So let's say we wanna further customize this. We'll go and click this. This will take you to the editor. And what we can do first is, let's say you wanna annotate. We can click on annotate and then change, let's say the pencil color to red, change the line width to medium, and let's go and point at something and we can do so as easily as that. We can add some text as well, let's say right here, and we'll just put in demo. We'll click on the rectangle tool and highlight this section. Now that we're done, we can click on done. Those changes have taken effect, but we can zoom out. So this is what readers will actually see. Go through all of your steps and making sure that you aren't missing anything. But once you are done, we can click on done. To start sharing your guide, all you need to do is head to share and you can either specify some emails or specific people that you wanna to share it to. Or if you want anyone with the link to be able to view it, you can modify it and click on shareable with link and then click on copy link. There's also a smart embed option where you can embed your guide to your website, such as a WordPress site. Otherwise you can export it as a PDF document. This is available for free users as well. If you do wanna export it as a HTML, Markdown or to Confluence, then you will need a pro account. But let's go ahead and export it as a PDF file. Now it says your PDF is ready. Let's go and view the PDF. And here's what it looks like. Really neat, really professional. And what I can do now is click on download. A little customization hack here for you. If you wanna further customize that PDF document, Head over to Canva, because Canva supports import of PDF files, you can simply drag and drop that PDF file that you just downloaded, like so. Now that it's uploaded, click it once. And what we have now in front of us is a fully customizable PDF document where we can add our brand colors, add images, add a template from templates, and simply put, modify anything we want on the PDF document. So the next time you wanna create a step-by-step -step guide, simply whip out Scribe, 
hit that record button and run through the process as you normally would. The old traditional way would be to capture a screenshot after screenshot and then pasting it onto a Word doc, which would be so time consuming. You can imagine 30 to 50 screenshots would take you a whole day and be very time consuming. So rather than doing that, use Scribe. I'll provide a link to Scribe in the description box below so you can get started and create your guides. On that note, let me know in the comments uh, what type of guide you'll be creating next. I'd love to know. In the meantime, take care and I'll link up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next right here.